Citing First Amendment protection, a judge in early December ruled against the city of Keene as it sought protection for its parking enforcement employees from a group of residents known as Robin Hooders. City officials claimed the group regularly harassed and intimidated the workers. Robin Hooders, whose aim is to fill expired city parking meters before tickets can be written, denied that their behavior was harassing in nature and touted their First Amendment rights during a three-day bench trial in September. This all sort of started when we got a tip uh, that uh, parking officers were being followed. We really didn't know what to make of it at that point. Uh, and then it was uh, a short time later that we learned that the city, in fact, was investigating uh, this group of individuals and that they had hi hired a former uh, Keene police captain to videotape uh, the Robin Hooders uh, in the act, which I think uh, we all found interesting because the Robin Hooders, of course, one of their tactics was to videotape uh, parking enforcement officers and uh, their various encounters. So the uh, approach by the city seemed to be to videotape the videotapers, uh, which, was, which was interesting. Um, but clearly this has been one of the more uh, divisive uh, issues in Keene in recent memory. Uh, there's a, a sort of uh, factions here with uh, uh, perhaps the larger faction feeling that this group is more of a nuisance than anything else and uh, another faction that feels that they're uh, something of champions of freedom and liberty and uh, I know uh, while we all maybe are not prepared to say either way how we feel about that, we've all uh, benefited uh, from Robin Hooding um, parking outside and, and getting saved from tickets and actually on the day uh, last week that the judge's decision came down that the that the complaint the city's complaint was dismissed uh, I went outside to check my meter knowing in fact that I was about 45 minutes behind my expiration and uh, was quite pleased to find uh, a Robin Hood calling card on my windshield <laughs> and four hours on my meter uh, so it was just a, a bit fitting and, and appropriate that that would occur on that same day. Um, and of course, uh, most recently that the city has decided to appeal um, the court's ruling. Yeah, I know this is a story that actually kind of uh, Keen got some notoriety for. Um, Good Morning America picked it up and uh, filmed a little segment interviewing city officials. And uh, my family lives in Florida, and my mom actually caught, you know, unexpectedly caught this um, piece on Keen, and I know she called me immediately and uh, was saying, I think that's so cool that they're saving you from parking tickets, and she really, from the segment, she got this idea that, you know, the Robin Hooders were saviors, and, and I kind of had to explain to her that um, a lot of the people, the feedback that we got from that, um, where a lot of people were pretty upset with the way that the piece turned out and didn't feel that it fairly portrayed, like Kyle said, what some people consider a nuisance sometimes, and that, you know, while it's nice to, to fill the parking meters, they didn't need to be, you know, walking so closely behind and yelling things at the parking meters and stuff like that. So there was just, uh, you know, it, it turned out that the story has, you know, two sides.